News. And welcome back into the fourth. Thanks for sticking with us as we go back to school with WBRC. Today we are checking in with Bessemer and Birmingham City Schools leaders on their student enrollment numbers. And those are so important because it impacts federal funding. That is right. Well, right now, leaders in Bessemer saying they are at about 60% with enrollment. And Birmingham City School leaders say they have hundreds more students enrolled than they did this time last year. Your reporter Bria Chapman joining us live now to break down these numbers. Bria. Yeah, Superintendent Dr. Mark Sullivan with Birmingham City Schools tells me they are seeing success with more students showing up for class for the first week of school in comparison to where they were last year. But he says there are still some students who have not made it and he wants to see them in school. Now, Dr. Sullivan says that he knows that their students can be facing a lot of issues, whether it's trouble getting to school or experiencing homelessness. But he wants parents and children to know that they are here to help. They've partnered with the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office to address some of the problems families could be facing. And Birmingham City Schools also have their initiative with the Birmingham Housing Authority called Everyday Counts. Now that's where each month a child with perfect perfect attendance is entered into a raffle to win money towards their housing expenses. And Bessemer Superintendent Dr. Dana Ariola also reminding parents to come and register their students. If you have not made your way to one of our campuses to register, we ask that you please return um, because our students uh, are very much missed at this point if they have not returned to school. And we're just excited for them to walk across that threshold and, and jump right into learning. We were about 500 students higher yesterday than we were day six on last year. So we had uh, around 18,600 uh, students uh, last year, uh, this year. We had about 18,034, uh, 35 last year. So we're over 500 students than where we were last year. We still got some students out there who hadn't shown up for school yet, and we really want to make sure that parents understand that, you know, you don't want to waste kids being out of school at the beginning of the school year because you never know what could happen. A child can get sick. And Dr. Sullivan says missing days of school can not only impact your child's learning, but also the money that their schools receive. Now, attendance and enrollment data must be submitted to the state next month, and that information determines how much funding each school system will receive. Reporting live tonight, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.